Welcome to This Week from Blue Mountain Broadcasting. I'm glad that you've tuned in today. I'm your host, Linnell Ellis, president of Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association, and we have some interesting things in store during our program today. Of course, I'm gonna be sharing station news with you coming up in a little while. And I'm going to be interviewing Michael Jimenez, who's an intern at Blue Mountain Television right now and a student at Walla Walla University. He's been working with our social media and it's gonna be really fun to talk with him about that special area of work that he does for Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association. Let's start now with our devotional thought. This week, I've been reading about the law of God and how important the law of God is in our lives. And I know sometimes we hesitate to talk about the law because it can feel a little uncomfortable perhaps, or we might be afraid that we're going to be perceived as legalists, or that we might actually become legalists if we focus too much on the law. However, I think that the law is really pretty important. It's one of the ways that we can understand God and what God's character is like. Of course, we also have the life of Jesus. He came to earth in person to show us what God is like, and I am so grateful for that. However, I do think that there's a lot that we can learn about who God is through the law. Let's take a look at the 10 commands that God gave to Moses when he was trying to help his people understand how they should live. And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, your, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. God's character is revealed in this law that we just read, the law that he gave to us. And I think that he longs for us to love him because he is our father. He's our creator. He's the one who has rescued us from sin. All fantastic reasons why we should and why we want to love him. He also knows that we will be the very happiest when we love the other people around us and treat every one of them with respect and care. The commandments show us the way to love God, to spend time with him, and also the way to love each other. You know, some people have called the Ten Commandments the happiness rules, and I think that's right. God wants us to live in harmony with others and to give him our love and devotion. And that is truly what will make us happy. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back.
Welcome back. Joining me now is Michael Jimenez. And Michael, you are working as an intern at Blue Mountain Television. Yeah, I'm working for the uh, basically the social media aspect of everything, and I'm enjoying it so far. Very good. So, uh, how do, how long have you been at Blue Mountain Television? I've been here since I believe how how, how long was it ago? It was a, about before since uh, school ended last year, actually. So I've been here since like uh, early July, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. So kind of a summer and then into the fall internship experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good, and you're a student at Walla Walla University. I am. I am a senior this year. Graduate, plan to graduate on time on uh, in uh, July. Then, yeah. Nice. So um, let's talk about some of the work that you specifically do. You said social media. So what kind of platforms are you working with for Blue Mountain Television? I am working with their Facebook, their Twitter, and their Instagram right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you what do you do to catch people's attention and try to get people to to um, subscribe or friend or whatever it is, depending on the platform? Uh, well, one thing I try to do is post actually uh, this onto Facebook and uh, Instagram stories. Uh, I think that this is a very, this is one of the shows that really catch people's attention, I think. Yeah. So okay. I might be, later this week, I'll probably post this, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you'll let people know that the This Week show is ready and available for them to watch the next episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have the whole episode there or just clips from it or refer them to somewhere? How do you do it? Well, we have station news of this and we also have the actual interview split up. So if people want to watch station news, they can just go to that. If they prefer the uh, interview, they can just go to that one then. Mm -hmm. And you were just snapping my picture a few minutes ago because you're working on another little project for our social media. Do you want to talk about that? Uh, yes, I plan to uh, interview various members of Blue Mountain Television or maybe just like ask them a question. It's sort of inspired by, I don't know if you've uh, uh, seen the Humans of New York posts. I'm very inspired by those. I think those are very, those are really good content for social media and I think it, it, it lets people know like who's behind the camera and who's working on a personal level, you know. Yeah, I have heard of Humans of New York mm -hmm. and looked at a few of them. And the, um, it's neat because it, it focuses on a particular person. You get to know a little bit more about them. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. So you're going to be going around some of us board members, people who volunteer at the station. Yeah, just whoever I, can, uh, whoever I can get, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about how important social media is as a communication tool for an organization. Um, I think it's... Well, it's all about getting your voice out on, on as many platforms as you can. And peop, people who, who ha either aren't following you now or ha are following you and want to see like, more content on like, a, a smaller basis, you know? If they, if, they don't, they, if they haven't seen like Station News or, or the interviews, for example, on, on, your, on like, broadcast or anything, they can just like, get quick snippets on it it's a very like, I don't want to say like ADHD kind of thing, but it is like you want to get their attention really quick. <laughs> yes, well that's a very important thing to, re to remember when you're creating content for it. Mm -hmm. You have just a few seconds really to grab someone's attention and share something with them there. Because people, I mean at least any of us who use social media at all know that we're kind of clicking around a lot and moving, or if we're on our computer or if we're on our phone or something, we're we're swiping around a lot, you know, we're going from one thing to another pretty quickly. Exactly. There's just a lot of noise out there, especially especially online, and you want to get people's attention with your specific voice that we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're really grateful that you're helping us to work on that because um, we especially feel that people your age are much more ready to kind of understand that and do it than some who are perhaps older generation. And so it's really great for us to have somebody who's currently studying this and learning about it. Mm. In fact, let's talk about um, your degree that you're going to be getting here soon. It's in what? Strategic communication. So it, has, it does have a lot to do with uh, public relations. It has a lot to do with journalism. I also took a social uh, media class, and that helped me a lot with what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So strategic communications, combining all those things. So you just mentioned journalism. You mentioned public relations, which are kind of two different fields, but they have some things in common. You do a lot of the same thing in those uh, in those fields. I, I specifically want to focus on public relations with my career, but I'm open to open to social media aspects as well because, like, as I've learned from this internship and from like social media class, those are is a very fun field to be in. Yeah, it is. Uh, so when you when you think about um, your future. 
and you're going to be graduating here in less than a year. What do you kind of see for yourself? I see uh, making media for uh, for perhaps press releases, perhaps for social media, basically being the interface from a company to like their people. I think in general that is a very important part of what a company does. I think it's very profitable. Uh, and I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, and you, you must be a good writer. I try. I try sometimes, you know. There's a lot of writing in this field, true? Mm-hmm. There is a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So finding ways to connect with people, catch their attention, communicate clearly with them. I think that's uh, important. It's also important to have your own distinct voice. Like Blue Mountain has a very spiritual voice that you try to get, but you also like want to combine it with being very personable with with every message that you create. See, I can tell you're studying this because you're thinking about what is the voice of the organization? How do we present ourselves to the public? That's what, And even within, internally, too, that's what you're thinking about as you're creating posts for us. You're thinking about who the organization is, what, what we sound like, who we are, and making specific choices about that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just talking with you, I can certainly tell that you're studying this and that you're thinking about it really on a, a deep level, and we appreciate that expertise that you're bringing to us uh, through this internship. No, that means a lot to me. Thank you. I'm really grateful for it. All right, well, it was great to chat with you for a bit, Michael, and, and also help our viewers know a little bit about who's behind the scenes with our social media posts. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. And thank you for watching. Please stay tuned because I'll be right back with Station News. Welcome back. Time now for Station News. And I am thrilled to be able to share with you a story of really devoted and generous viewers and supporters of Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association. We have received from people like you, the generous people who watch this station, and a wonderful donation. You know about our new facility at Wallula Avenue and how we are wanting to make some renovations to it and get it ready for it to actually move over there and broadcast. Well, one of the things that we're going to need at this new facility is office furniture. And we have been given the most tremendous gift of furniture from uh, some individuals who uh, no longer needed this office furniture in their business and individuals from the Tri-Cities and we are super, super grateful. This is high quality furniture that has now been moved to our Wallula Avenue facility and is just waiting to be placed in all the appropriate places once we get those renovations completed so that these desks and bookshelves and other pieces of furniture can be used for our workers that will be working there at the new facility. So thank you so much for that gift and uh, to each of you who are supporting the station in the various ways that you can. Also, I wanted to remind you about a program that's gonna be coming on with new episodes for this season and that's UView coming from Walla Walla University. New episodes starting on October 21 and this program will be Wednesdays at 6 p.m. So UView, Wednesdays at 6 p.m., student-produced program out of Walla Walla University starting October 21. Really looking forward to that, that's coming up soon. Also, speaking of things that are coming up soon, our fall fundraiser, a very, very important time where you are participating, where we're all working together to make things happen here at Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association. And that's gonna be November 9 through 11. So I hope right now you're writing that down or marking your calendar or getting out your electronic calendar and putting it in November 9 through 11 for our fall fundraiser. And we're thrilled because our guest for this event is going to be Randy Maxwell. And he's our guest presenter, and many of you are familiar with some of the books that he has written, especially on the topic of prayer. And uh, I think you'll really, really enjoy what Randy Maxwell has to share with us as he is our guest for our fall fundraiser. So I'm already excited and looking forward to that event, November 9 through 11. And of course, the prayers that you offer up on behalf of this ministry are really, really important. I wanna thank each one of you who has made Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association a matter of prayer and that you take the concerns of this ministry and this station to God in prayer regularly. Thank you for doing that. And I know many of you who are watching this show right now are also active 
financial contributors to the ministry of Blue Mountain Broadcasting Association. And I'm so grateful to you as well. Uh, you already know that this ministry is entirely viewer supported. So your participation literally makes it happen as we share the good news about God's beautiful character of love with our community. And so I want to thank you for that and ask that you continue. And as God impresses you, that you be generous with this ministry that is so important here in our area for reaching people on behalf of God's kingdom. And I also want to thank you for watching this show and staying in tune with what's happening here in our community and with this ministry. And I hope that you'll tune in next time. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.